All right, there we go. We have our settings up here, and we'll change it up here in a bit, but let me take them off for now. Anyway, hello there. Here we are on Monday, the 5th of August, 2019, at 8.57 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And what we're doing different is we have a new lens for the Canon 80D. Let me get situated and I'll be right back. Okay, and here we have a 31% crescent, I think. I'd have to double check when I go in. Up here in our southwest sky, west-southwest. And this Sigma lens, it's a beast of a lens. It's six pounds. <laughs> But ever since it was announced, I was hoping it would go on sale when it did a few days ago. So I did pick it up and with hopes of the ad revenue still coming in, hopefully it'll be paid off in about five months or so. Fingers crossed. <laughs> anyway, so this, uh, this lens is for full sensor cameras for that 60 to 600, so it should be about 96 to 960 on a crop sensor camera, which is what I have here on the ADD. Now what's cool about the ADD, at least for my uses, is it has a digital zoom in camera. So here we are at uh, 3x. Still a bit too bright, huh, there on the side. And we can go in even further. Now, without a teleconverter, we can't get up quite as close uh, as the P1000. But from my testing this afternoon of doing the bricks over on the church in the backyard, the image quality was great on this uh, on this lens compared to the Nikon. Well, I think the Canon is a 24 megapixel. I'm not sure. But I will double check, yeah. Okay, so we are at the max. So it should be about 9,600. I think I already said that. <laughs> I'm going nuts here. I was trying to put together a video of the comparison, but Now, what else is great about the Canon is we can put that 2x extender on here and not only reach the max zoom that the P1000 gets, which is 3,000 times 4, which is 12,000 millimeters. We can do that with a 2x on here and even surpass it up to 19,200, I think. I'm sure the image quality will suffer, but... <laughs> And this is not the greatest night to be out here. We've had a lot of humidity. We had rainstorms and there's clouds all around right now. And what I might do also in Final Cut Pro is do a crop zoom to get in just a bit further. We'll see. Yeah, quality to supper, but I have a feeling the video is not going to pick it up, but it looks like uh, dark greens, browns, and tans in that in that mare there. Hmm. But okay. So there we are at the max. Let's uh, undo the. Okay, we're at the 3X now. Very cool. I'm going to shut off the digital zoom and, well, 
I was going to attempt to go over to Jupiter, but there's this large cloud bank over there. But over around there somewhere is Jupiter <laughs> in that cloud bank. Now, of course, we don't get as wide of a view like we do with the uh, Nikon or that Tamron lens, but I love this Canon 80D so much. I had hopes that it might just be a better camera for zooming than even the P1000. We, we shall see. It's, <laughs> it's early days. I've only had it a couple hours and I'm still fumbling around here. And not much to see with it, doggone it. So we are back down to the 600, or I'm sorry, the 60 millimeter. Bit of a cap on the moon there. Now ah, this lens, you have to turn it the opposite way. Yeah, with that ISO up so high, you can see the cap on the moon. Could take it up even higher. Yeah. Now both of them are entrenched in clouds. <laughs> Oh, that's my luck, huh? But again, we are recording this onto the Atomos Ninja Flame and filming with a Canon 80D and that new Sigma 60 to 600 millimeter lens. The moon's a pretty cool uh, test, but the two planets, Saturn and Jupiter, will be the best. All right, I'll have a lot of editing, cut all this out. I don't have any pictures tonight to throw in here. Just don't get a wide enough view here to get a good landscape shot. Now there are rumors about a Canon 90D coming out, maybe by August 28th. And it's all just rumors, but I sure would like to see the specs on that camera. And I don't know for sure about this, but I think this Canon 80D for an APS-C crop sensor DSLR, I think it's the only one that has a, a digital zoom in camera like that, the 3X to 10X, but I don't think it does. Oh man, Jupiter, where the hell are you? Now, if anyone knows differently, if there's a different uh, camera company that has a DSLR. I was hoping Nikon would, like the D500, I love that camera, um, that has the in-camera digital zoom also. Please let me know. That's a pretty sight there. Double check our settings here. 1 30th for shutter at 4.5. I says on 2000. <laughs> a bit grainy. And we're at 60 millimeters, which is should be 96 on a crop sensor camera. And by Jove, I think that's it. That cloud bank is large. I don't think it's going to let uh, Jupiter have a break. Oh, I didn't want this test to be a bust, but we'll have to wait for another night to be able to get the planets in. Well, on this cloudy crescent night and Sigma night, I'm going to wish you all a great new week here, and I hope all is right in your world. Y'all take care now. It's 9.18 p.m. up here. Bye now.